Gamebooks have been on the App Store before. The main issue with most of them is that they often turn out to be more Bookford game, with the game part being frankly underwhelming, largely due to lots of dead ends and a reliance on luck. Well, with the release of Sorcery, developer Inkle and Steve Jackson, one of the co-creators of the Fighting Fantasy series, have taken it upon themselves to improve the gamebook for modern audiences. And you'll be happy to discover that they have succeeded. Awaking from a mysterious dream, you are sent by your townspeople to go out into the wilderness on an important quest. You're given some gold and basic training in combat and magic. Once you set out, every decision is made by you. Where to go, who to talk to, how to treat people, and if it comes down to it, who to fight. If at any point in the adventure you are unsatisfied with your choices, the game map is marked with numerous rewind triggers. This means that you can return to any previous point in the story. This small inclusion solves the issue of reaching dead ends and infinite loops. Swordplay is realized through a test of wits and feints. You and your opponent both have an energy bar, which is separate from your life meter. By swiping your character left or right, you can choose how much of this energy to use in an attack. You have no idea what your opponent has chosen, but if your energy is larger than his, you win the round. If, however, you or your opponent decide to use no energy, you'll block, only taking one damage from an attack. It's a system that has room for subtle strategy, but isn't overly complex. Perfect for a gamebook. The Magic System is a book of 48 spells that are cast by choosing the correct combination of constellations. These range from offensive and defensive spells to lockpicking, crafting potions to make you bigger, the ability to talk to animals, and even resurrection. The amount of spells is astonishing, and it encourages you to use your imagination in any given situation. Mention should also be made of the visual style, which immerses the player in the world through the map screen and illustrations that accompany the text. The music swells in the menu and spellbook screens, and backs the narrative at appropriate times too. It makes the game world feel alive, which, considering the majority of your time is spent reading, is no mean feat. This sorcery series will ultimately comprise four parts, and considering the price of the first app, getting hooked is going to be costly. Those who want heaps of action from their games may want to look elsewhere for their kicks. That said, anyone who enjoys gamebooks or Dungeons & Dragons will likely enjoy themselves here. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.